you known about it. And I just take complete authority over the spirit of fear and intimidation. Because intimidation is not coming from you. Intimidation comes to provoke into fear, which is rooted out of witchcraft. Intimidation is rooted out of witchcraft. It's rooted out of witchcraft, and I bind it and take authority over it now Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Amen. This spirit of intimidation has been bothering you since of a child. Since of a child, and intimidating you so that you will not walk freely in the things of the Lord. But I bind and rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. And you will let go of this woman in Jesus' name. Sharing for the Lord God has not given you the spirit of fear. But of power, love, and soundness of mind. Mm -hmm. You're a word woman, and God said, Tell her to read the scripture out loud and quote it over herself all week long. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a soundness of mind. And you're going to start hearing chains dropping off of you and falling off of you. The chains will fall off of you and you will literally be free. You see, because he's had a hook in you every since, I say, I see seven, since seven years old. Since seven years old. I don't know what happened when you were seven and in the second grade. But this, this one has started, this one has started at work when you were seven years old and in the second grade. But God I see, I see chains falling. But God frees you tonight, woman of God. Ay, 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 ay. God frees you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for freeing you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's something you, you gonna, the Lord's going to speak to you. There's something going to happen to you. In three days. In three days, the Lord is going to speak a word to you. Within three days. I seen two large chains that was hooked to some kind of pit, uh, center block. And they was hooked and it was a hook in your stomach. That's, that was fear and intimidation. Keeping you chained. Listen to me. This is what the Lord said. You go back to school. The Lord has called you to be his prophet. And you will speak and prophesy not just over the pulpit. There is a harvest where God is sending you. You have uh, the ability to influence people. And God says, I need an influencer. See, a prophet is more than one that just said, thus says the Lord. But a prophet has great influence. And God is going to use you to influence people on that campus. The enemy's been trying to keep you in fear. Not to get another degree, but to move in a realm, of the, in an area, in the spirit and the anointing. I know you feel it in your stomach because I feel it in mine. God is breaking that, breaking that hook. The anointing is destroying that hook even while I'm talking to you. And so God said, go back to school because I have a harvest field there. And yes, you will receive a degree, but I want to use you to minister. And the Lord said he is going to change your tongue. He is going to change your tongue and he's going to free it. Mm -hmm. Because that, that hook that you had was also connected to your tongue. This is so awesome what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing. I saw two chains on a center block over a ceiling. It was hooked in your belly, and there was another chain that hooked your tongue. And God is freeing you. You can jump through a truth, and you can leap over a wall. You can do it. And when you get through, not only will you have your master's degree, but you will have a degree in technology, and you will make yourself a force to be reckoned with. You will make yourself a force to be reckoned with. The Lord said, do not fear. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. This is something you never did before. And then this is what the Lord says. He said that I'm going to open up your discerning. No need to open up your discerning if, you, if you're still in the same place. But when he puts you into a place where he wants you to be, he frees up every avenue. This is going to be the best year of your life. 
You got people praying for you that you don't even know of. You don't even know of. You think you've got a desire that God don't know about? Somebody said something to me today, and I'm praying for Prophetess Allen. Da, 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 da. God got people praying for your desires to come to pass. So the Lord said, don't faint. He said, don't faint. I've heard. Don't faint. I'm moving. I have heard. Do not faint, says the Lord. Do not faint. Do not faint. Do not faint, and you are going to testify of God's goodness. So the Lord spoke it, and so it shall be done. It shall be so. In Jesus' name.